Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. No one might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. All right, guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're gonna be talking about upward hybrid defenses. So if you guys haven't seen my latest video, go to that video and it'll feature Tiger Sleeps Cannon on how to upwards hybrid and basically if you don't know I'll quickly go over it. it's basically a method of raiding where you reverse uh, slab bus which goes upwards and you can break through water layers of floors and these are floors right here so I have several several four different uh, techniques of protecting your floors or protecting your base above the floors that's what we're talking about so um, yeah, the first one is obviously just layers of water. The good thing about that is it stops um, reverse left shooters. And this is a, it's it's not a new type of cannon, but it's a better one than Tiger Sleeps. It can stack, so it, ha it slab busts twice. Basically how it works is um, you slab bust right here, it shoots upwards, and then it gets over left because it's a it's a upwards left and then it slab busts down so then you stack a bunch of sand like that in one shot instead of one at a time one at a time one at a time so uh, definitely I'll probably feature that type of cannon probably very soon if you guys would like uh, if you guys have a cannon like that and you want to show it on this channel all you have to do is uh, you know put it in the link of my uh, YouTube message box or inbox and I could probably feature it on this channel so hopefully that happens and you guys could uh, definitely make that happen so okay we talked about that the good thing about this is is you can't reverse left shoot as well because uh, you'll have to just keep on doing that several times but uh, I made this right this box to symbolize massive gaps in between your your floor and this is the ceiling it's it's opposite we're talking about this is the ceiling and this is the floor say if you had chest right here so uh, yeah the the good thing about this design is obviously if you use like a cannon like tiger sleeps and where it only stacks one at a time one at a time one at a time that would get very 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 costly so this style of um, floor defense would be much much better than this because um, basically uh, yeah never mind I, I've lost my train of thought but uh, this this method isn't as good if the cannoner that's raiding your base actually knows what he's doing and has a reverse left shooter that can uh, slab bust twice and stack a massive amount of sand so he would he would stack this this represents one shot and this could be you know a hundred sand blocks so it could be a really massive amount of sand depending on how good the cannoner is so and that would be three shots so it will only take a couple of shots to actually break through however many distance of blocks of water you have in between your floor and ceiling so uh, this does get a little confusing I'm trying to make this articulate just because um, this is a new style of rating that most people don't know about the high level level cannoners obviously do so uh, they're trying to keep all this stuff secret just because it is really really overpowered so um, I'll be talking about this right here is basically just using slabs and this is actually really 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 good but really really bad at the same time because uh, just think about it if they can in from the roof they don't even need a hybrid they can go straight right through your base because these are slabs but if they're coming from the bottom it makes it so much better than regular blocks because it's a slab and we can take I set up this little example right here uh, let's just place a slab go up to this block put a slab here and I'll show you guys uh, obviously what happens if you put a slab the sand breaks so I'll just show you guys that real fast and make sure okay hybrid is off and this right here is a region cut whoa okay so it, it let's see if the sand entity is still see the sand broke right there sorry I got flew back but 
uh, obviously slabs, you know, protect or make sand not stack. So this would be really, really great for this style if there's a huge, huge gap because then he would uh, reverse slab bus so that the sand and TNT, key, TNT come up here and then they go left and then slab bus down. So you'd actually have to uh, break that with the TNT and then you would have to stack. So it would just require a little bit more, um, you know, more shots with the cannon just because you have to break all these slabs. Now this would be even better because say if he started the reverse slab, uh, reverse um, stacking right here, you would actually have to break all these slabs and that would actually be a little bit more difficult than you would imagine because um, you would have to get really perfect timing to go through all these um, slabs because you would go up on this layer and then you'd have to you just have to especially if this is a really really long um, say a long floor or a wide floor you would actually have to get some good timing probably wouldn't be too too difficult if you had a really monster big amount of scatter say instead of three right here say you had like I don't know 15 of these TNT or these dispensers so I think that about covers it um, yeah you guys gotta you gotta figure out what works best for you and basically uh, with the high amount of TNT cannon knowledge out there I would do the slabs in combination with um, with this this is a regen cut so if you guys don't know what a regen cut is it's basically just a regenerating system that allows you to not stop um, cannoners but this is basically we used to do this style of defense on the outside of your base like walls like right here and it would just be a massive cut that regenerates but you can obviously use it for floor defenses also and I shouldn't have to say this but gun troller has extreme slow lava flow so it wouldn't work on gun troller I wish I didn't have to say that but most people are be like oh it doesn't work on gun troller why would you even make this video but you gotta remember there are lots of other servers that people play on so I'm trying to you know cover most of my bases so um this right here is basically a region cut so let's actually let's stack sand let's get the same block and then let's stack sand on this block so this is how you would do it with this cannon you just stack one at a time you keep doing it you keep doing it until you're ready to actually go up the same level so let's go right there that will reverse and then upwards the left right there so let's watch it work and here we go I'm just gonna put a couple more sand and then you obviously have to put scatter on so here we go BAM so it does regenerate extremely fast there's a couple of things I just noticed is when we actually scattered and hybrided uh, when these blocks just pushed out because all of the sand was here and it messed up the water actually it made it to where you can't actually left shoot anymore because this block is right here it's straight up from the reverse part where you actually reverse and yeah you can't actually go through this anymore so what you would do if you were actually cannoning you would just have to uh, restack to reset your backboard so then it would instead of this block right here it'd be on this block so that's how you could get past that so basically what you want to do is you want to break this defense on your first shot so you don't have to keep on repeating this process because actually the blocks would come out because of the sand because the water water sources are now messed up and they wouldn't work so 
uh, how you break this defense is obviously you could have a really, 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 really big scatter. That's what I would do. Or you could have uh, what's even better is you have two cannons. And basically what you would do is you would actually have a cannon that shoots right through another cannon. So if you can imagine that, um, that's what we used to do old school is setting up two cannons and basically this would be where you would set up your cannon just probably like two blocks up or something uh, you would have to set it up perfect but um, yeah you shoot right through your cannon which is pretty cool and you could actually do a scatter perfectly timed where it would blow up right above it and it would blow up all this lava so on the defensive part how you would stop that is this is this is what I would do. I would put a lot, lots and lots and lots and lots of water. Uh, I mean, uh, lava sources, but actually do it at different Y levels. So then I would place um, buckets of lava here. I would I would do source blocks all the way through because if they blow up the source lava blocks, uh, there's still a chance that you couldn't scatter them all and the lava would just flow down and it would still make a regenerating defense so that's what I would do just imagine uh, blocks right here just uh, keep on doing lots and lots of um, source blocks and I would do if this was a really really big base I would do this as your last defense because I would do your spawners right above it so that that's what I would do personally because this so far is the best defense that has came has come up uh, no other block uh, configurations really stop anything there's really there's really no way you can actually stop upward hybriding you can at most slow it down so uh, that's what I would do I would use this defense because it is it is actually really good if uh, the cannoners you know it takes a lot of time setting up two cannons and you know have the perfect timing and you know it it takes it takes a lot from the cannoners to do that perfectly so like i said uh keep on doing the source blocks of lava and that will help you out and then obviously you can't stack this defense what i mean is you can't do a region cut on top of another region cut because if water because water's on the underside if they scattered this up top and the water you know flow down it would just break this defense so obviously you can't do that you can only have uh, one region cut and then like I said you would use slabs so they couldn't stack sand as easy if this was all slabs right here they would have to blow up these slabs and however far until your you know your next level is it could be you know 20 30 blocks and that's just even more sand they have to stack so it just costs more and more and more so that's why I would use slabs so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's kind of long and but you really there's a lot of different elements when you talk about defenses because uh, there's so many different types of cannons that can break certain types of defenses so it's it's always like that. You're going to have positives and negatives for each type of defense. So uh, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure you hit that like button, guys. So I'll see you guys next time.